हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम महिमा लहरिया वंस अगेन वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल पैसिफिक केमिस्ट्री क्लासेस स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू द परवक्साइड स्ट्रक्चर इट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्ट्रक्चर एंड सम क्वेश्चंस आर बीइंग आस्ड इन योर नेट एग्जाम एज वेल एज योर आई आई एग्जाम्स ऑल्सो एज वेल एज दिस इज ए इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर द पी स्टूडेंट्स एम स्टूडेंट्स ऑल्सो सो लेट एस स्टार्ट अवर टूडेज टॉपिक स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस स्ट्रक्चर आई हैड ड्रॉन इट इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द परवक्साइड स्ट्रक्चर दिस इज ऑर्थ्रोरोम्बिक इन द शेप एंड दिस Uh, what i can say that this peroxide structures are generally these crystals are generally it they can be the uh, black red brown or pale yellow or yellowish in color so this uh, first you see the structure so here you can see in the center that is the black so it is a small cation and this our red are the large cation and this uh, our uh, that empty hole i marked with the purple color is the oxide or the halide and generally this example today peroxide structure we have taken today of the cat I O three. So why these structures are termed as the peroxide structures? So now let us see uh, the contribution of the scientist for the peroxide. Generally, this structure is a mineral composed of calcium titanium oxide. That is, or the we can also say that it is a calcium titanate. So it is discovered by the Russian scientist Gustav Rose in eighteen thirty nine. But later on, so much research was done by the mineralogist Lab Parvas. Okay, so that's why the name is the peroxide. So because of the LP means this uh, lab Parvosky has done a lot of research. So the name is given the peroxide. They have the general formula ABX three. So ABX three means A will be also a cation, B will also be a cation. But the difference is that if we see the formula of our CaTiO three, so there are two cations. Eh, no? Calcium is also a cation and titanium is also a cation. But so the first cation will be a divalent. Means the valency of the calcium will be two plus in this structure, and the valency of our titanium in this structure will be the tetravalent. Means it will have the four plus charge, and so. and other will be our oxide ions or the halide means this general formula is abx3 so a and b are the cations a will have the divalent 2 plus b will be have the 4 plus and our uh, x can either be oxide or the halogen so this are the our peroxide uh, general formula abx3 type so this is structure you can make and do the practice also it's not very tough for so just what are the main properties of this uh, structure peroxide structure so students the mineral peroxide that is our calcium titanium oxide is having the oxide ions that is and the large cations ca2 plus it forms a ccp arrangement and smaller cations that is our ti4 plus it occupies the holes which is formed by the oxide ions means these are the oxide ions they form a hole in the center so there will be our titanium and this red big cations are at the corners so you can see this is a orthorhombic structure so which type of the questions are asked in the net exam so the uh, if they will ask you the peroxide structure is of which type so you have to mark the orthorhombic structures what is the crystal arrangement it is our ccp type okay then what are the important physical properties of this peroxide structure so they have high absorption coefficient values they have di high dielectric constant values they are low excitation binding energies and they have the good ferroelectric properties so because of these uh, good properties all these physical properties this have the vast applications in our photoelectronic and the photonic device application generally they are used as our solar cells and the photo means light so generally because of this peroxides are uh, not very costly so we can make a different varieties of the photo cells and we can generate the electricity so the methyl ammonium lead halide is a common peroxide solar cell which is mostly used so generally what uh, these peroxide solar cells will do they will convert our uv and the visible light directly into the electricity so as their setup is also not very costly they are uh, nowadays they are widely used and uh, as a uh, source of electricity and uh, so we can say that 
this peroxide solar cell we can write in short as psc this include the peroxide structured compound means some of the other organic or inorganic compounds like lead or tin halide based materials will be embedded in them and so we can easily uh, harvest the electricity and just they are very cheap and easy to make so this is all for your peroxide structure so students this topic you can prepare very uh, easily so the uh, and the general formula is abx3 the main formula is catio3 in this structure in the center this is small cation is of our ti4 plus this is our and this red are our calcium and this oxygen purple color so this is a easy topic thanks for watching do share with your friend